Hello YouTube, this is Stefan from Rip City Base Works, and today I'm going to show you how to root the Samsung Galaxy S5 G900 series, also known as KLTE. I am going to specifically show you on the KLTE variant, but this should also work for uh, ones such as Sprint or uh, Verizon, but the recovery file is going to be a little bit different. So this is running stock firmware, uh, Android version 6.0.1 Marshmallow TouchWiz. So everything is completely stock right now. So first off, I'm going to show you that the device is not currently rooted. So root checker. And as you can see, it is not rooted. So the first step in the root process is going to be to go to an internet browser. Search up supersu.com. Go to download. And you're going to want to scroll down to recovery flashable zip latest to version 2.79 tap on that make sure it downloads successfully and there you go now the next step is going to involve a computer so I'm gonna transfer over there Okay, so now that we're on a computer, the first step to do is going to be to open up an internet browser. Now you're going to want to search up, um, let's see the recovery first, so type in TWRP KLT, and it's going to be the first result right there. And scroll down, you're going to want the .tar file and the most recent one, so TWRP 3.1.0-0 KLTE image tar. Click on that. Should bring you to a download link. And just click on this again. And as you can see, it's downloading. So now while that's downloading, we can get the other file needed. So we need Odin. So type in Odin 3A07. And this is the one that I found works the best with the least amount of bugs. So this first link, Android file host, Odin 307. And just hit download. And that should also download for you. Okay, so as soon as that's done, you're gonna want to exit out of that. Go to your downloads directory. If it's already open, refresh it to make sure everything shows up. Okay. Now you're going to want to unzip Odin, so let's extract all, just a basic zip file. Okay, now you're going to want to double click inside Odin, open Odin, say yes to the prompt. Okay, now you're going to want to hit PDA, scroll to your downloads directory if it's not already preset there, select TWRP 3.1 KLTE and if you have a different variant like Sprint or Verizon you're going to have to choose the uh, the Team Win Recovery Project recovery that uh, supports it. So now next you're going to want to get just the standard USB cable plug it in and now we're going to go back to the phone Okay, so now that the PC prep work is done, um, we need to reboot the phone to download mode. So hold the power key, power off, just wait for it to complete. Okay, now when it's completely powered off, you're going to want to hold the home the home button, the power button, and the volume down key all at the same time. Okay, now we're booted into download mode. Now you're going to want to insert the USB. It's a standard micro USB. You can also use the official one, which I do not have. Then volume up to continue. Now you'll hear a notification on your PC so and it'll say added on Odin you just have to hit the start button then wait for it to, cla to flash and then it's important that as soon as it exits download mode 
you need to remove the battery. So as soon as the screen pops up, remove the battery, remove the USB, and this is so that the uh, that the stock touch whiz doesn't reflash the stock recovery. So now you're gonna want to boot into recovery. So you're gonna want power key, volume up, and home all at the same time. And then release the power button as soon as you get here. And we'll say recovery booting. And there you go, we have installed Team Win Recovery. Let's uh, let's keep read only. Okay, now you're going to want to go to Install, scroll to Downloads, choose Super SU 2.79. Then swipe, oh, sorry, hit that, swipe to confirm. Okay, and it's important you follow those instructions that are printed on screen, so just wait a while for it to boot. Um, and if it loops, unless it loops for like an outrageous amount of time, just let it do it. Just let it go through the whole process to make sure you don't get bricked. Now just reboot system. Do not install. Okay. And I'll probably fast forward through this part, so enjoy. Okay, and that did not take long at all actually, just slightly longer than a normal boot. Now if we go to apps, root checker, verify root. Might take a little while since we just started up. Probably should have waited a little bit longer. Not sure why that is. Let's go over here. There's Super SU. Oh, because we haven't configured Super SU yet, obviously. and hit grant and then choose if you want to disable Knox or not uh, I will just for the sake of it And this isn't important, so I'm just going to close out. Probably should have just kept it. Okay. Uh, we might have to refresh root checker. Yeah, we will. So, apps, root checker, verify root, and the device is now rooted. And that is all. You can now install any app that requires root or install custom ROMs or whatever you want to do.